Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimfoTech.com and on this video we'll look at the new changes included on Windows 10, build 17.004. Now this new test version of Windows 10 is part of the uh, next release due in 2018. Alongside the new improvements found on build 17.004, in this video we'll also be looking at some of the changes included on previous build, including build 16.362 and build 16.353. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements on these releases. On the start menu on build 17004 now it includes regular highlight for the all apps list and live tiles. So as you can see hovering over items on the all apps list now you can see the uh, rebuild highlight feature and also when you're hovering over a live tile you can also see that when clicking you can see the uh, the effect and same right here each item has that uh, reveal highlight effect. The uh, lock screen has also been updated. And let me show you. I'm just going to lock it. I don't know if uh, we're going to uh, see this new uh, change. But uh, basically what's going to happen right now, uh, every time I boot, if you take a few seconds to actually log in, the experience now will show uh, your screen personalization, such as the uh, uh, Windows Spotlight wallpaper, uh, Cortana, calendar, and mail, and other types uh, of uh, notifications that are part of your uh, experience. Now, let's move on and talk about Action Center. In the past few bills that Microsoft has been releasing to insiders, now it includes some um, some new improvements. For example, now the Action Center uses AM and PM when indicated timestamps with the 12-hour uh, clock format rather than just an, an A or showing the uh, letter P. Also using the dark option theme, the uh, clear all, expand, collapse, and see more links that usually appear on the bottom. As you can see right here, the spam and the clear link. Uh, now they will change color with the uh, uh, color of, of your theme that you're using. So let me just go really quick. I'm going to go to personalization and just change uh, the color to something. Let's do a green. And now when you open Action Center, you will see that that link now changed color as well. That is a minor update, but it's a welcome addition to uh, the operating system. Also, a, another feature that you're now, it's not like a visual change, but now Action Center supports supports two finger touch gestures uh, to dismiss notifications. Let me see if I can do that. So I'm using my fingers to dismiss the notification. That's really a nice addition for touch enabled devices. On the uh, settings app, there are now many uh, changes only on ease of access. Now when we go to color and high contrast, Microsoft is adding a new color wheel uh, to help get a feel for the effect of uh, each different available color filters. So let me just show you how that... Oh, let me just turn this on. If not, it's not going to work. And as you can see, that gives you a feel how the uh, uh, color is going to look like when you apply a filter on Windows 10, if that's something that you need to enable on your device. And on Narrator, now when you go to Sounds and Hear section, now you can select the uh, desired audio channel for a speech output as you can see right here so you know you can if you have multiple audio devices you, you can switch them right here on Windows 10 built 17004 you're also going to notice that Microsoft is placing a Microsoft Edge uh, shortcut on the desktop and but if you don't like you can always delete that 
And that's pretty much everything that's new on Windows 10 build 17004 and previous builds. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.